Hello, it's Sandy Allnock. I have just a short video for you today because I have had a crazy week. I am prepping for a giant watercolor class this weekend that I'm teaching and I have just been up to my eyeballs in supplies and getting ready. So I decided you're just going to see a peek inside the new art class that I have, Imaginary Creatures in Alcohol Markers, and I'm going to show you the Copic version in this video. The main teaching is in Olo Markers, but any alcohol marker brand will do. This course came about in an opposite way that it usually does. I chose the colors first. And then secondly, I chose the subjects by asking all of you for subject ideas. And I wrote them all down on a piece of paper, dropped a pink arrow onto the paper, and then randomly paired up two different words. In this particular case, a hat and an owl became a birthday owl. Lots of them are ridiculously silly. And there is lots of silliness in here. There are moments in the class when songs started bouncing through my head. So I went and found the YouTube video from a decade or more ago, like Rock Lobster. I had to start singing Rock Lobster. I know I'm weird. So there is silliness like that. However, there's also seriousness. When I teach a class, I don't do it just for the sake of like, hey, let's just make this cute thing. I try to help you by growing you as an artist and teaching you things like color theory. And this set of markers didn't have any neutrals in it. So I kept thinking through these first ones, how am I going to like get some neutrals in here and what colors would I use to make them? When I got to the wool on the dodo sheep, I kind of had to figure that out. And I also applied the same thing here on the moose. I could have made the moose just a purple moose and been fine, but I decided I want him to be brown. So I used complementary colors, a purple and a yellow. And when you layer complementary colors in most mediums, I'm not going to say all, but most mediums, you can get a neutral. The amount of purple and the amount of yellow and the kind of purple and the kind of yellow will matter. But in this set, we can actually layer a bunch of different colors. We can change them up by layering other colors over them to neutralize the brown a little more, etc. So you are going to learn like real stuff in this class. You also don't have to already know how to draw. I will give you the blanks for these. So you'll get a version if you want with just blank squares and you can draw the animals in. I'll show you the drawing steps, breaking them down into simple shapes but you can also use this version that has the sketches already in it. I included an oops in the class. Uh, yeah, this one, I picked up the wrong pen. Instead of using the lighter purple, I used the darker purple. And instead of starting all over again, I just colored around that dark purple with the actual background color and tried to force it to blur that out a little bit. And then I resorted to just using a white gel pen and a black gel pen to make it look like I meant to do that because I was on the second to last image and I wasn't about to restart this. I did film obviously all the Copic versions. So you'll get a Copic video as well as an Olo video. The Olo is narrated. The Copic is not, but the process is the same. If there's any difference between them, I tell you about it in text right next to the video. So the Copic version has added an extra hour of content to the class, more valuable than it was before. You can use any brand of alcohol markers that you want, whatever you'd like. Links in the doobly-doo, so you can go right away and sign up while it's still on sale. I want you to get a deal because that's important for you and paying the mortgage is important for me. So go sign up. I will see you next week when I have my brain back and uh, yeah, we'll make more art.